हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज मॉलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस फ्रॉम ग्रेड ट्वेल्व बायोलॉजी दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी लेंदी सो आई विल बी कटिंग ऑल द टॉपिक्स इन टू डिफरेंट वीडियोज सो प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव इन येट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस एंटायर चैप्टर एट वन गो बिफोर वी गो इन टू एवरी टॉपिक सेपरेटली first and foremost molecular basis of inheritance means uh, you know what is inheritance the genetic material getting transferred from one generation to the other what exactly is the molecular basis or which molecule is involved in this is what this entire chapter is talking about initially we had no clue that it was dna all right now we know there are two types of genetic materials called as dna and rna and most of us have dna as a genetic material and some viruses have rna as a genetic material but at a at a previous time it was not known to us so there were so many experiments and so many scientists involved in proving that and understanding what it is made of how what is the biochemical nature of it all right so let's quickly understand what happened all right in 1869 um, there was a person called frederick frederick miescher he just identified dna as an acidic substance nothing more he never uh, considered it as a genetic material or anything he just understood that it is a acidic material acidic substance that's it right beyond that it is around 1920s onwards that you can see there were so many experiments done referring to something called as genetic material so the first set of experiments were done by griffith called as the mice experiment we'll be learning that today what he did and what he proved was he did a set of experiments on mice and proved that there is something getting transferred from one generation to other or one organism to the other resulting in a change in the genetic material and he called that as a transforming principle all right at that time he did not know it is a dna at all so that's why i have written did not identify biochemical nature all right he understood that there is something getting transferred from one mice to another making the second mice to change we we'll learn that experiment today then came 1933 to 44 10 years of research three people avery mcloyd and mccarty understood that it is dna itself that is a genetic material or the hereditary material they concluded using an experiment but there was no exact proof for it they said eliminating rna and protein dna could be the genetic material that's it okay next people that is next set of scientists hershey and chase gave the proof that dna is the hereditary material once that was done in 53 all these years to be written down as such learned 53 watson and crick together proved uh, proposed a they didn't prove they proposed a double helix model of the dna based on two other information from two different set of research one set of research from was from bilkin and franklin who gave x ray diffraction data another was from charge of rule this also we need to learn all right yes so 1953 you have a double helix model like so all right we don't know anything further right we 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 just know that there is a double helix model then came around the same year 58 not same year some years later crick francis crick the same person who was involved in double helix model proposal same person said proposed a central dogma what exactly is central dogma it states that genetic information moves from dna to rna to protein all right and dna has to become multiple number before this genetic information has to be transferred that multiple number chain or duplication we call as a replication of dna and there were some experiments done by 
Meselson and Stahl to prove that DNA replication happens and it happens semi-conservatively. So all these experiments we are going to learn now. Children, so let's uh, understand all the experiments in detail but in a brief manner. So quickly we can understand the whole thing. Alright, so first and foremost you need to know uh, Misha, the person who identified DNA as, a gen as the acidic material, what did he call it? He called it as nucleate nuclein mark that coming to griffith experiment remember griffith experiment the one in which he said that there is a transforming principle otherwise called as the genetic material he just understood that there is something he didn't know dna protein whatever he just knew that there is something transforming and something getting passed on all right so griffith experiment what did griffith do he took a Bacteria called a Streptococcus pneumoniae. Write that without spelling error, please. He took two sub varieties of it called as strains R strain and S strain. R strain because when you try to grow this bacteria on a petri plate, having made them, it forms rough colonies. So you call that as R. And the other one, which called smooth for S for smooth, he called that as the um, smooth strain. That's all. All right. And he infected mice using these uh, strains. Okay, first group of mice was infected by the S strain. Second group of mice was infected with the R strain. Now, when he did that, he understood that S strain causes pneumonia and the mice dies. R strain does not cause my, uh, pneumonia and the mice leaves. With that observation, what he went ahead and did was the S strain, which is the S, is the killer one. All right, you that is the one which he took and heat killed the strain. Okay, he live one is able to cause infection and kill the mice. He, he tried killing the bacteria and checking. He killed the bacteria and once he killed the bacteria, the mice was not infected with pneumonia and mice lived. All right, so that was the third observation. Fourth, what he did was the heat killed one which is not which should not cause any disease. And R strain, which also should not cause any disease, he mixed. And then in, in, he put that on the mice, injected into the mice. Mice died. That means, that means what? That means that a strain which had the ability to kill, had in it something that was transferred into the other strain. All right. Since R is alive now, it started infecting. R got something from the S which could be lethal. Okay. So that is what he understood and from there he concluded something and that conclusion is what you will write for your examination for two marks. He concluded that R strain bacteria had been transformed by the heat killed S. And he understood that there is something getting moved from one strain to the other. All right. He called that it as the transforming principle. Now we call that same thing as genetic material. Okay. Now, every McLeod and McCarty, they were the ones who could find the biochemical nature of a transforming principle or the genetic material. All right. They found that it is DNA itself which can change R and R strain if they mix it with S strain all right how did they do that they extracted protein DNA and RNA from S which was heat killed S which was heat killed was the one that gave the transforming principle for sure but we don't know what is that transforming principle right we don't know the biochemistry of it meaning we don't know the what kind of molecule it is to know that they extracted RNA protein and DNA from this heat killed S. When they used protease enzyme, alright, when they used RNAs enzyme on the uh, whatever mixture they have, they found that they did not have the protease will digest protein, RNAs will digest RNA, right. After digesting all that also the transformation happened. That means it was only the DNA which is the transforming principle. I hope it is clear. Now we will continue with the Hershey and Chase experiment in the next video. Continue watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you.